Okay, and the supplies you're going to need for your mini witch hat. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of black felt. Um, I've got the soft felt. And then I've got a thicker felt. This is going to be for the brim of the hat. And uh, this is going to be for the, the hat, the actual hat part. I also went to the dollar store and picked up a pack of party hats. And uh, I'm just going to use this as a template. And I've also got a piece of um, poster board, or you can use cardstock. Okay, and since I am doing a mini hat instead of a full witch hat, I am going to take my party hat and I'm going to trim it down. I'm just going to take a little off the bottom just to make it smaller. But of course, if you want a full witch hat, you don't have to do this part. So I'm just going to press down. And I think I'll come up about like that. But make, make sure when you're cutting, you cut like the bottom of the hat. Or as close to possible. Or as close as you can. Okay. Now, this is the new size. And you can toss this to the side. This is the size of my witch's hat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open this up. And my hats come with this little, I don't know if you can see it, this little cutout. I'll just trim that. I don't need it. Okay. Now, this is my template. Now I'm going to take my felt and I'm going to glue this piece to the felt. And you just need really one side, but if you want to do both sides, that's fine. Okay, and once you have glued your template down to your felt, you just want to trim around it and get it off of this uh, felt piece. Okay, and to fold this, you just want to take your two ends here and bring them together and make them overlap. Just like your party hat. See? And of course you want to take your glue gun, a little line of glue, and then f stick the two pieces together. And it should look like that. And now you have your actual hat piece after we have glued it and now we are going to do the brim of the hat for the brim of the hat I've just got a normal size bowl and to be honest I have no idea what size bowl this is it's just a cereal bowl and um, I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it on my cardstock or your poster board. And I'm just going to get a pencil and trace around it because we want a perfect circle. But if this is too large, you can find something smaller. Or if you want something bigger, you can find, you know, maybe a bigger bowl. But you want a perfect circle. Like I said, take your bowl and a pen or a pencil and just trace around it. And now we have a circle because Lord knows I am not good at drawing a perfect circle. Got an A for effort. Okay, now what you want to do is take your scissors and trim out your circle. Okay, now I'm going to take that thick piece of felt and I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to glue my circle to the felt trim it out and then I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing to the bottom because you don't want white showing. You want both sides to be black. Okay guys, believe it or not, the hardest part is now complete. We have two separate pieces. You have your cone part and we have the brim of the hat. Now we just need to add our cone piece to the brim of the hat and make it look like a witch hat. But first we are going to take that thinner felt that we worked with, the one that we covered the comb, and we are going to cover 
the bottom of the cone. So what you want to do, lay your felt out and you're going to put your cone down and we are going to trace around, but you don't want it the exact same size as the bottom, you want it just a little bit wider because what we're going to do when we cut out this circle, we're going to glue it here, but we're going to come up and glue the, the edge right around here. But don't worry because we're, we're going to decorate the hat and you're not going to be able to see it. This is just going to serve as a piece that will make it easier for us when we glue it down on the brim. So go ahead and lay your cone down and trace around, but remember just maybe half an inch to an inch depending on how much you want to see up here, but at least half an inch around. This is the circle felt that I've cut out and it is slightly larger than the bottom of my cone. Now what you want to do is you see the edge how it's overlapping here we're going to add glue all the way around your cone and we're just going to tuck it right up there along that glue all the way around. Just want to make sure this bottom part is secure. So go ahead and glue it down, your glue right around the end here, and then pinch this up a little, all the way around. And it's not that bad, but I am going to cover the base of the hat up with some marabou, so you're not going to be able to see that. But this is what the bottom looks like now, and I'm just going to add my glue right here, and we are going to glue it to the brim of the hat, just like this. And then we're going to decorate it. So go ahead and glue. You're going to need to hold it there for a minute or so. Okay guys, and now you can see we have a witch hat. Ta-da! Now comes the fun part. We are going to decorate the witch hat. And I've got this um, orange and black dot ribbon. And remember, we're going to cover up the ugly part. So I think I'm going to add this just right around where we brought that felt up. I'm just going to glue it around and try to find out what we're going to add to it next. The possibilities are endless um, as far as what you can do with your hat. Um, if you have a particular outfit, I would tie the colors in with the outfit, you know, so you can match your hat to your outfit. Kennedy is going to be wearing a, um, a traditional Halloween colored tutu with some leg warmers, so I'm going to be making mine with the purples and the blacks and the greens and the oranges. But um, here I've just got some marabou. I mean, look. You can put your marabou right there and have a frilly witch hat, um, ribbon, we got some sequin bows, tulle, shabbies, I mean go crazy, be unique, come up with your own ideas and I'm sure it's going to be fabulous and if you do decide to make one of these be sure to visit the Facebook page and leave us a photo and I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a very very happy Halloween.